We built this team in one week from scratch without spending any money, and now I'm making a Super Bowl run. But if I lose, I'm giving this entire account away. Along the way, I get three helpful lifelines to use at any point and to make things more difficult. Every time I lose a game, I have to spin the Wheel of Losers, which is full of an assortment of punishments to make my run even more difficult. Ready, set, go. At least get a touchdown to start off our first drive of this video. That is would be huge and Derek Henry in the end zone for the score. It's nice to get a first drive touchdown, but on defense, we need to force a turnover. Marshawn Lattimore, I knew he'd be a huge addition to the team. And now it's time to go back to the man who carries our team on his back, Derek Henry. I'm just gonna keep running the ball with Derek Henry, dude. We're getting literal pancakes. Let's go, baby. <laughs> now, despite me picking on him in the team builder video, Darius Williams comes up with a massive interception here, even big enough to force the rage quit. And our first game is a W rage quit in the first quarter. Game two already off to a rough start with an early fourth down. I'm gonna run the, but no, my own player got in my way. He ended up with a touchdown on his first drive. So it was up to me to bounce back, not let it shake me. And that's exactly what we did. Yep. Yep, let's go, man. I knew we could only defend one wheel, so I went with the other one. The first half is over. Let's get into the second half or so, I thought. He's gonna run? No freaking way. That just happened. That one hurts really bad. I'm seriously shook, but I thought I had him bagged on this drive. I guess not. I've got him all bagged. Please. Oh, that was not open. He ends up scoring seven here, and then I make a crucial mistake. Please. Oh, no. I threw another pick. Nothing too bad. There's a lot of really tough stuff on here, so we're going to have to go with random playbook on defense. Give me a decent, like, big nickel over G, preferably, preferably, Bears. Okay. Okay. We'll have to make this work. It was at this point when I realized punishing myself for losing was probably not the best idea. Hit him. Let's go, baby. Right on the sideline. Great catch. See if you can get into the end zone, Henry. Let's go, baby. Scoring an early touchdown and then making a stop after he punted on fourth and 41 had me feeling amazing. But this gameplay can honestly be summed up into these three plays. Missed interception, missed interception. Oh my God. And a massive fumble. Let's go. Good spin. Oh. A fumble that he took back for a touchdown. Now I'm down two possessions. And to top it all off, I throw an interception. I want to die. It's nothing too difficult, please. Nothing too difficult. Only offensive coach suggestions for a game. Are you kidding me? We're going to use our first lifeline, which is to play any uncompleted solo challenge string that I have not done since I recorded the team building video. I'm choosing the NFL Combine Solos because they have 286 plus rewards and a 94 overall NCAT. We're going to get to keep these rewards and hopefully use them to upgrade our team a little bit. We've lost two in a row. God knows we need some help. We have 286 plus overall Combine players and a 94 NCAT. We can use any of the these three cards on our team if they're good so i don't i don't want an 86 please no no we get to pick any of these 94 overalls i'm gonna go with trufant because he's six foot he'll be a good addition to the team and i'm sick of getting mossed when it's out of my control we're all coach suggestions for the next game we absolutely need a win and this is not the kind of player i wanted to face right now what a psychopath what kind of psychopath runs the ball on third and 11 Yes. Oh my God. Yes. No. F Things are going from bad to worse. And now matted fatigue is starting to set in. Tackle, please. We went down two scores early, but battled back with the dot and then another dot for two touchdowns in a row. And I'm not kidding when I say this play is the start of one of the craziest Madden endings I've ever seen. Oh my God. He fumbled. Go. Go, 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 go. No way. At this point, he can clock me out, kick a field goal, and win the game. But for some reason, he decides not to. This guy's got hubris. He wants to score a touchdown. He wants to score a touchdown and said he's going to throw a pick. He's going to throw a pick. We've got life. On third and two, he ran cover two just one too many times. Oh, my God. We just won. Oh, my God. We just won. All we have to do to win is make this ice kick. Accurate. Come on. Go in. Go in. Yes. Oh, my God. God. This guy. Let's go. Never quit games. Let's go. Heading into game five, that was the life I needed. Let's go. Let's go. LeGarrette Blunt. And yet again, the 5'9 legend. 
steps up. Darius Williams, come on! Right off the turnover, we throw a bomb down the field to DJ Moore. And then Derrick Henry finishes it off. Get outside, Henry! Unfortunately, letting up last-minute scores before the half is becoming a pattern because that's exactly what we do. But we battle back and get a field goal with 30 seconds left, intercept him, and then get another field goal before the end of the half. He starts off the third quarter with a score, and then we have one of the nicest passes I think I've ever thrown in Madden. Woo! Big touchdown. He throws another touchdown here to make it a one-score game. And at this point, I know if I can just get a first down and clock him, the game's over. We don't, unfortunately, but we do get in field goal range with that last pass and kick a game-winning field goal. No, are you f kidding me? Our next game's off to a rough start. We go down 7 nothing. Drop of easy fourth and five conversion. He scores a field goal. And then we do get a touchdown, at least. Time! Let's go! But what's that saying? When it rains, it pours. And when I missed that pick, I knew he was gonna score a touchdown. And then it really started to pour on me. I made an awful decision to throw that pass there. We're rightfully picked off. And then he bombs the living hell out of me for the easiest touchdown of his life. Oh my god, dude. I need to take a breather and just, like, collect to myself, bro. Let's go ahead and spin here. Hopefully nothing too bad because this could be my last chance if I lose. Random playbook on offense. Hopefully nothing too bad. Please, hopefully nothing too bad. Seahawks. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We've been scheming. I put some time in in the lab on both offense and defense because we can't lose any more games. We have three losses, and if we lose one more, our Super Bowl run is over before we even make the playoffs. The pressure is officially on. Since we have to treat every game like a sudden death game, we start off hot by intercepting our opponent and immediately putting one of those bombs to use, scoring a quick touchdown. And to polish things off, we intercept him yet again, forcing the rage quit. Game one was a success. On to game two, where we start off hot yet again with the first drive touchdown and then intercept him on the next drive with Jack Tatum. Immediately go up 14 to nothing and this man just threw me another pick. I couldn't believe it. Oh my God, can we take this back? Spin, spin again. Oh my God, there's literally no way. There's literally no way. Oh my God, what a return, dude. The rest of this game went a little something like interception, score, interception, score. A, A, A. Dot! Let's go! And he rage quits! And I'm just thrilled to match up with the guy of the gamer tag, a bunch offset. So much so that we bomb him on one of the first plays of the game and then QB sneak it in, but he comes right back with the bomb of his own. Oh my god, dude. Josh Gordon is just so fast. Here I make a severe mistake. Throw an interception. It's a tie game. And then he makes me suffer for it. He did it again. But wait a second, because we pick him off, baby. Just in time to timeout. What just happened? I better have gotten that win. I don't know if it was luck or what, but thankfully we got the win. On to the next game where we start out yet again with an unbelievable bomb to DJ Moore. He comes back with a little bit of an, I would say, lucky rollout, a nice throw either way and gets in the end zone. Tied seven to seven and that wheel route is working for us, baby. Oh my God, pick it, pick it, pick it, Tatum, run, let's go. A huge interception by Tatum there. So despite him scoring, we still have a two possession lead. I'm not too worried. And then we go over the top yet again. He ends up rage quitting and we get another win. After a basically sudden death run where we just made the playoffs, I realize that I need help. We're going to activate our next lifeline. I'm bringing in CC, a Madden YouTuber, an unbelievably talented Madden player. He's going to be able to coach us for the first half of our first playoff game. Pick. Pick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy. Touchdown. You got it. You got Touchdown. It. You got it. What is he doing? What is he not even? Does he? Does this guy even play man? Don't tell me I wasted a lifeline on a guy who's not even good at the game. If I wasn't here, he'd be up seven. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. He ends up throwing to his tight end and driving down the field just to get in the end zone with his fullback. Do I have to double team that guy on the edge? If you're rolling, I block A. Oh, I can't. Crap! Crap! No, turtle. <laughs> All that just to end up like this. RB? No. Oh. No way. Oh, no, no. No. Sheldon way. Richards. Thankfully, I had CC to keep my head in the game here. Regardless, I still throw an interception because I'm a moron, but luckily he gives it right back. Let's go. Let's go. Rebirth, baby. Right when I think we have life, 
this happens. <laughs> no way. No. That one really hurt, but thankfully I have CC to guide me here to just take the three. We've been unlucky. A couple bad balls and all that. We'll take the three. We'll get the ball coming out of half. Any last minute advice before you head out here? Try your verticals. When you get in the red zone, best spot, super good. Same way we set it up there. You'll start to put those threes into sevens. I appreciate you hopping on. Thank you so much. Uh, good luck. Since we only had CC for a half, it's time to lock in. Let's go, baby. And finally, something goes my way. Let's go. Yes. Now I'm going to try to clock a little bit. Thankfully, we have none other than the bulldozer himself, Derek Henry. Oh, Derek. Go up by six. We can't let up a touchdown. Now, of all possible things that happen here, Baker Mayfield breaking a sack and rolling out was not at the top of my list. No way. He just stayed up, dude. No freaking way this is happening to me. Big fourth down. Big fourth down. And just like that, karma always works itself out. Yes. Finally, something meant my way. Touchdown. Touchdown, DJ Moore. Quit. Get out of the game. First playoff W. Come on, baby. Thank you, CC, for the advice. That lifeline came in absolute clutch, but we're not done yet. We have two more playoff games before the Super Bowl. Because this is such a big game, I've decided to activate my last lifeline. We're bringing in the Madden 20 Buccaneers Club champion and YouTuber, Civil, to coach us through the entire game. Straight the middle guy, like out route X. Also, I'll be containing you, so we'll have to sit a second. We got it. Yep. Come on, catch it, please. All's worth good. Let's go, dude. Oh, he didn't click he, on. He doesn't want quick on. Just hurry up. Go. Just, just hurry up. Foot the formation. Block the tight end. Hit LB and to the right on the right stick. Snap it, and then you're going to run to the right. See if you can push the edge with the quarterback. See if you just push the edge. Just take off, take off, take off. Get a few yards. Cool. Then I ran my favorite concept, the wheel route. Lovely. Let's go, hey, baby. Go. That's how I love playing the game, dude. Like, especially after a big play, I'm just like, hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What oh, makes you so do that fun. after a big play? I just get excited, honestly. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. That's perfect. Ball. Awesome. Thank you. We're going the other way. Uh, jerk out. Jerk out. I jerk out. Oh, I tried. I didn't journal. I, I hurdled. So I was wondering. I was like, the hurdle wasn't the right move, but it's okay. We'll take it. <laughs> no oh, way. Yeah. No, there we go. See, that's how that's really no like, way. That's how the games go. The way I want to play this game is to just make people so angry. Thank you so much for the help. No problem, Kenny. Last game before the Super Bowl, boys. One more win. Let's get after it. And of course, we start out horribly. First by taking a huge sack in the backfield and then throwing right at his user. I literally threw a pick on the first drive. Next thing I know, he's throwing a quick dot into the end zone, and we have an early deficit. Acrobat is going crazy. No freaking way. Hey, at least Acrobat works both ways, though. Where's my Acrobat? Psych. Yes. Friarmouth, turn up field. Let's go, Friarmouth. Come on, baby. Finally. And just like that, we start to move the ball until Namath starts to sell us. Missing not one, but two passes. Finally, we end up hitting Derrick Henry out of the backfield. And Henry does what Henry does best. Let's go! Big play, Derek. Now, this is when I started to get a little annoyed with my opponent because not only is he taking massive QB shots, he's throwing right into 10-yard flats and still gets rewarded with a touchdown until he throws right at me on the two-point conversion. Please, 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 please. No! Let's go! <laughs> Not to worry, we have a Hulk. I mean, hey. let's go, Derek. Come on! No, actually, after watching this play, I take that back. I mean, Hulk. Oh, Derek! Derek, get big! He finally makes a mistake that he actually gets punished for, and although this was a fourth and nine, I didn't exactly want to intercept it. Marshawn Lattimore goes massive, and then we give it to Derek. Derek Henry, team MVP, dude. He has carried us from day freaking one. On his very next drive, he ends up throwing a dime touchdown, a cover three beater that just shredded me, but we still have a ton of time to burn when we get the ball back on offense. We hit up Lance Allworth for a great game, and on a big fourth down, we go back to over reliable. These fourth downs are killing me, bro. To nobody's surprise, the wheel route to Derrick Henry connects. Let's go, baby. We absolutely need this two-point conversion because otherwise we're only up by one point and he can get a field goal to win. What are you doing? That was the right read. It was a high pass. He was right there. He's so open. This is it. This is the game. We need our defense to make a stop. He starts by throwing right into coverage, not once, but twice. And then he throws into coverage a third time on the crossing route, setting himself up in field goal range. Iced kick and he puts it through. Ah, 
that is a heartbreaking way to lose. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve our goal of winning a Super Bowl, which means I'm giving this entire account away. To be eligible to win, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you drop a like on this video, and you leave a comment down below with your Super Bowl winner predictions for next year. And then just make sure you leave your Twitter somewhere in the comments so that I can contact you if you win. Building this team in just one week without spending any money made for a crazy video. I give so much advice in that video on how to build your team without spending money. It's definitely not a video you're going to want to miss.